Turf Business TV on the DLF stand here at BTME 2022. I'm joined by Derek Smith. Derek, uh, how's it going at the show? It's been uh, surprisingly a great show for us. We weren't too sure what to expect this year with COVID, obviously, like everybody else, yep. um, and with the current events going on in the world. But yeah, so far it's been really good. Um, very pleased to see people back at Harrogate and out looking for new products and new ideas again. So yeah, we're excited to be here and uh, yeah, looking forward to the rest of the show. Well, nice and lead into new products. Yep. You've got a new range of uh, seed, obviously, but it's around wildflowers and... Uh, Pollinating mixes, should we call it, yeah? Yep. Um, as always, we've always got new mixtures in both now the Momastig and the Johnson's ranges on the grass seed side. But one of the areas that the company is really trying to uh, focus on now it are sustainable solutions. Everybody's concerned with the environment. Um, there's a lot of focus, as you mentioned, on pollinating species. We've got a lot of history in wildflowers and natural habitat recreation. It's something we've done for many, many years. Um, we actually produce wildflowers ourselves on our own farm. So we, again, we've been doing that for a long time. But um, I think the last time we spoke, we mentioned that we'd actually taken over the Momastig business yep. in the UK. And they used to have a wildflower range, but we didn't take that over with the Limagran deal. So it was an opportunity for us to develop our existing wildflower ranges. And that is one of the things we're really focusing on at the show today. So we've brought out two new ranges, the Pro Flora um, native wildflower range, and that's really if you're going to uh, try and recreate a, a, a natural habitat. And then the Colour Boost range, which is a range of really high impact, high show, high colour um, flower mixtures. We don't even really refer to those as wildflowers. They're still just as good for the insects and the pollinating species, but the crowds like them. So whether it's a landscape site, uh, you know, whether it's a private um, situation or whether it's out on the golf course where they've been really popular, then yeah. The players like them, they like it because it encourages the, wild, the, um, the wildlife, but yeah, people just like to see it. The best thing with them is they're really reliable. You, know, you put them in the ground, you're going to get a massive show of colour every time you use it. And yeah, it's, they're, they're really, really successful. It seems very popular. And it's something that we've seen a real growth in over the last five to ten years. There's been a really dramatic increase in the focus on these environmental mixtures. And do you see that focus on that type of product growing for, for you as a business and you're bringing out more and different more things like that? Yeah, very much so. On our professional amenity side, we've seen a big development, say, in the landscape sector, but also into the golf market where there's sort of the natural environment has always been part of a golf course, hasn't it? That's always been part of what you go and play golf for. You're out in nature, um, so anything that can encourage biodiversity is a good thing. We've also seen a massive increase in this on our agricultural side of our company as well. So, you know, in set aside, in stewardship schemes. So again, we're a major supplier into that market, into the agricultural sector as well. So yeah, it's definitely something we've seen consistent growth. And with the, the government's focus now, we do see continued growth on that. Derek, always great to catch up with you at shows. Hope to see you again real soon. And uh, if not, Saltex before. Excellent. Cheers, Martin. Thank you.